looking at game three here, the first thing that came to my mind was to do something with minions. Get as many minions as you want and perhaps you can play ambassador at the end or something like that. There's not really too many terminals that you want to play. Um, you would like to have a counterfeit in that minion deck and some money, some goals or whatnot. But, but, um, after looking at that, I noticed a few other cards on the board. There's Magpie as well, and Apothecary. There's also Delve on the board, which gets you silver for cheap. And not only cheap, but it can get you silvers without needing plus buys. So, I saw the minion thing and I thought, let's try something a little bit different. I know the minion thing is good and is probably winning on this board. But in the interest, in the spirit of adventure, in the interest of fun, in the slight like for Apothecary, let's try something with the Apothecary. So the interaction that I saw, well, that I was going after was Apothecary into Magpie. So the Apothecary would reveal the top four cards on my deck and hopefully I could set up Magpies to do work after that. So. My opponent and I open the same way actually, Magpie and Ambassador. The reason why I go for the Ambassador is because I don't want to get flooded with estates. The Apothecary does not like the estates at all, so I'm trying to get the estates out of my deck as much as possible. So my opponent hits 5 here, which is very very good for him. Getting a counterfeit that early in the game is tremendous. Tremendous. If I had five, I would also do the same pick up a counterfeit in that position. I didn't hit five, I hit four, and I went for a potion looking for the apothecary. And now, this is what I want to be doing with the ambassador sending back the estates, leaving my deck um, rich with coppers. Two dollars means that I can afford a silver, and I do pick one up here, hopefully, looking to get to counterfeits. Now, my plan with the magpie was to hopefully have it proliferate I hope that's the correct word meaning I would gain more magpies on the reveals but I didn't uh, gain so many magpies early on in the game in fact it draws me into some treasure here which is all well and good this is delve and apothecary for me quite easily I could have been a counterfeit at this point but I wanted an apothecary I didn't have one by that point in the game so, my opponent starts in on the minions here. He also has a magpie, mind you. Two magpies, by the way. I'm not sure if he bought one or if one gained him the other one, but I would really like to get uh, quite a few magpies. If I could win that split, I think that is very, very helpful for me. The apothecary magpie thing should put in some uh, decent work. So here, my opponent gets up to 10 and 2 buys, which is tremendous. That is That is real good for him. He's able to um, pick up two minions with that, continuing with his plan. So, still using the Ambassador to fling the Estates away. And I pick up Delve Apothecary. I really need to start getting Magpies now, because the Apothecary only draws Coppers. All these Silvers in the deck, it can't draw it. The only thing that can draw it is Magpie. But I still only have the one Magpie nine turns into the game. So that is a sign that things are not going the way they are supposed to or how I envision them to go anyway. So 8 and 2 eyes for my opponent. I assumed it would be something like minion and maybe silver. But he goes for 2 magpies. So throughout this game so far my opponent has been doing a smart things I find to counter my apothecary strategy. He has been sending across estates with his ambassador. Perhaps also because he has a counterfeit in his deck that can remove the coppers. The estates really, really um, gum up the apothecary draw. You see there that is not at all great, right? Silver estate ambassador and a magpie. No copper draw for me there. And him picking up two magpies also hinders my plans quite a bit, actually. Uh, I still had faith in the magpies that they would just replicate themselves in the deck, but they didn't end up doing so, and my opponent actually ends up with more of the magpies than me, which, like I said before, that is not ideal for what I'm going for. So I've been talking about Apothecary and Magpie, that um, combination. 
However, there is also something else on the board which I did not consider until much later, and that is perhaps you don't even know, need to go for the apothecary. Perhaps something with magpie, ambassador, and vault is good enough. Magpie, if your deck is full of treasure, will give you a decent hand size, and vault in combination with the counterfeit and the cheap silvers can perhaps get you to double province turns, maybe on a good turn. Maybe. Maybe. So I didn't look at the vault straight away. I looked at it much, much later, but perhaps this magpie into vaulting is stronger than what I'm doing. Because you don't have to spend the first four dollars on a potion. You could pick up another magpie in that case. And it seems here if you want to play with money and your magpies aren't uh, replicating. The hair they do manage to replicate. This, I think this is the first time I had them replicate. So that puts my total to three magpies, I believe, and now I'll buy the last one alongside an apothecary. Also, only having four apothecaries by this point in the game, that is not so good either. I expected to have more apothecaries by this point, like maybe five or six. This is what, 12 turns into the game? I know I did buy the potion a little bit late, but still perhaps that is the effect of the ambassador anyways so how things are going so far my opponent actually only has four minions i say only but his deck is becoming much better he has the magpies to draw up things and the minions do provide you know some money so here he goes for a minion and he picks up an island on his four dollar hand which is whatever really i mean it can be a little bit tricky to set your island aside with an estate in a minion type deck since it doesn't draw the deck in a sense but whatever he'll get around to it eventually i'm sure that's not a concern for him at this point so now eight here and i do not buy a province straight away instead i think i make the final purchases for what i want my deck to look like i pick up a delve here and a vault and a vault so delve and vault and hopefully now I can start to challenge my opponent. I really need to start going after the provinces. I've spent way too long building here. If I wanted to go after a more money type strategy with coppers and silvers and whatnot, I really should have purchased provinces by now. 10, 14 and no provinces from me. That does not, that's not good. At least here I do get to see the apothecary magpie thing work. So hey, good work magpie. Good work magpie. And here's the vault, here's the vault um, with the magpies, and this is where I start to see, you know, maybe this um, magpie and vault thing was sufficient enough, or perhaps even better than getting the apothecary in. But um, I'm not sure, I'll have to play this board again to know. So here I come up with enough money for province and island. I get, I get rid of a silver just to try to help my apothecary a little bit. So that it can draw more, but the deck isn't really too suitable for Apothecary at this point. There's too many silvers. The magpies, I don't mind, but there's just too many silvers. And the Apothecary is really used more so as a cartographer than as a draw card at this point in the game. On the other side, my opponent is completely clean. He's now junking me with potions. I did give him a potion with my ambassador. He had absolutely no use for it except now where he decides to give me a second one of course it doesn't hurt me as much because the apothecary can draw it but i don't want to see more than one potion in my deck man that's not good not good at all so he is going to continue after the minions here there's one left in the pile he picks up a silver too i think he can threaten double province now and he does get up to what 17 and two buys or something on this next turn, uh, he doesn't take double province, but takes a single one, a minion, and a silver. So, his deck is looking very, very good. When I say good here, I mean it is very stable. It will not stall. There are very few cards in his deck that he can draw that he would stall off of. Perhaps it is impossible for him to stall. All the magpies, all the minions mean that he will guarantee have a full turn for quite some time and this is the main difference and i knew this going into this type of strategy from the beginning i knew that 
Dominion thing is more stable than the Apothecary thing. Anytime you play in a deck that involves a lot of treasure, particularly Apothecary and Coppers and, sil and Delve with Silvers and whatnot, you are running the risk of having a bad turn where you see a hand of three or four treasures and some green cards. And this is one of the advantages to play in engine type decks here like my opponent is doing. The stability, the reliability, you are not going to stall at all. Whereas money decks like mine here, even though it's not like 100% money, do run the risk of stalling. So he now goes for double province. Um, I just have to hope he draws three provinces in his hand and an ambassador and some treasure or something and the counterfeit and has an absolute stall to him but that requires almost an act of god at this point to do so so i can't do anything else here except buy the province and hope that he can't buy two provinces he actually isn't able to buy two provinces i think because he didn't buy back the silver well what he is able to do here is um, pick up province and dutch and this is an excellent hand and might give me some chances, but it gets pitched by the minion. Because if he picks up um, Province Duchy, perhaps I could also pick up um, Province Duchy. But that still doesn't win because I was first player. Oh well, what can you do, right? Anyway, so that's how um, Game 3 ends here. My opponent comes through with the minions. He picks up Province Duchy here. Very, very safe, I think. Because I can't get Province Duchy and win. I would need to see both counterfeits and do something like Province Duchy Estate, and that is incredibly unlikely for me, I feel. So on his next turn, he'll finish the game by picking up the last province. And that's game three for you. Just a little bit of an experiment. We're having a little bit of, of fun and adventure out here. Perhaps the magpie thing with the vault is better. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you.